Saudi propaganda is demonizing Islam and therefore the Palestinian cause. A recent report by the Saudi 24 News Channel suggested that the Muslim Brotherhood was backing southern separatists within the Yemeni city of Aden, a vicious falsehood, because it is public knowledge that the separatists are supported by the UAE, a state hostile towards the Brotherhood. In Palestine, Hamas is described as a terrorist group in Saudi media, accused of taking the people of Gaza hostage to satisfy its agenda. These are just a few of the way during which Saudi state media disseminates absurd propaganda because the government embarks on a widespread campaign to refurbish its image and control the narrative about its policies, both domestically and abroad. The hypocritical campaign stems from a desire to mislead, control and warp reality in an attempt to guard Saudi interests. There is no such thing as free speech in Saudi Arabia. The web is heavily controlled and monitored, with strict censorship of books, newspapers, magazines, films, television, and social media. The mass media is a propaganda mouthpiece for the establishment. What makes things worse is that the official stance that any sort of criticism of the government is seen as a potentially destabilizing and dangerous sin. The crackdown on Saudi independent voices is fierce, albeit opinions are expressed vaguely and with none clear regard to Saudi authorities. Dozens of prominent clerics and intellectuals are arrested in what Human Rights Watch has called a coordinated crackdown on dissent. Saudi Arabia is ranked 170th out of 180 countries within the 2020 World Press Freedom Index. During this climate of repression, professional media outlets are replaced by propaganda that serves the regime promotes its worldview and demonizes its rivals at the domestic, regional, and international levels. Only one narrative of events is promoted and circulated, but because Saudi policies lately tend to be unpredictable, loyalist propaganda can find yourself contradicting itself. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan was once touted as a reliable ally. Now, he's a replacement Ottoman caliph, terrorizing the region into submission. Social media platforms haven't escaped the Saudi crackdown on freedom of data. The potential for social media to facilitate political communication within the kingdom has been devastated by persistent interference and surveillance by the government. Twitter, especially, has taken into account a threat to be tamed, policed, and won't to control dissent. While Twitter periodically calls accounts tied to the present disinformation network, the Saudi troll army remains going strong manipulating likes and retweets to spread propaganda and provides a misunderstanding of the recognition of Saudi policies. And yet, these actions don't serve the state's interests. Instead, they obscure a key means by which to trace and trace popular opinion. In Saudi Arabia there's virtually no civil society, no genuine structural representation of the general public, and no outlet by which to influence the decision-making process. Driving Saudi propaganda is that the notion that the Muslim Brotherhood and so-called political Islam are the kingdom's main strategic enemies. This is often why Saudi Arabia backed the bloody 2013 coup in Egypt, which overthrew the country's first democratically elected government. It's also why the state is hostile towards Qatar, which sided with the Egyptian democracy and therefore the Arab Spring in general, and Turkey which took an identical stance. The whole Muslim presence in Europe is actually painted by Al Arabiya as having terrorist affiliations. Islamophobia is flourishing within the corridors of power in Saudi Arabia even quite within the far-right movements of Berlin or Paris. Saudi Arabia needs its propaganda network now quite ever because it remains locked during a bitter struggle with Iran for regional dominance, turning to Israel for support under the notion of your enemy's enemy is your friend, or perhaps the Saudi government merely capitalized the Iran threat to urge cozy with Israel. But this move could find yourself backfiring on Saudi Arabia. The dismal, short sighted approach of the Saudi regime has led to a different disastrous policy, turning against the Palestinian cause in favor of folks President Donald Trump's deal of the century. Saudi Arabia has also began a crackdown against many Palestinian Hamas supporters inside the country. Saudi propaganda revolves around one central theme inciting ultra nationalist sentiments among the youth. Slogans like Saudi Arabia for Saudis, Great Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia First have contributed to a replacement narrative, described by analyst Madawi al-Rashid as not simply a spontaneous grassroots movement, but a state-led initiative under the auspices of the Crown Prince. The new sense of nationalism advocates an opportunity, not only from past religious conservatism, but also from any commitment to Arab and Muslim causes, particularly 
the Palestinian issue, including the status of the celestial city of Jerusalem. Saudi propaganda tactics range from disinformation and outright lies to demonization, name calling, and scapegoating. Supported by the Saudi troll army, commentators and activists have pushed hashtags on Twitter getting to delegitimize the Palestinian cause, with slogans like Palestine isn't my cause. Dehumanizing Palestinians goes hand in hand with showing Israel during a favorable light, an impossible mission, but the Saudi regime continues to shoot itself within the foot. Saudi Arabia's war on the Arab Spring, and therefore the Muslim Brotherhood has destroyed its legitimacy, both politically and morally. Things is gloomy and absurd.